Good news everyone, Specialized has a brand new power saddle. Should you buy it? Or should you uh, yeah, stick with the old one? Let's find out. Socks off in 2015 when they released their hybrid road triathlon snuck nose power saddle. And I bought one in 2016 specifically for my foray into ultra endurance riding, and I loved it. The rear platform supports and elevates your sit bones while the wide cutout channel reduces pressure on the perineum allowing for better blood flow and generally better comfort. The short snub nose then allows you to sit further forward and have a more aggressive position and lets you use aero bars if you're into that sort of thing. And I happily spent many, many hours on the first generation power saddle and I had basically no problems with saddle sores, except for the ones I got because I was riding in soggy necks a few times. That was not a good idea. Really, there was just one problem with the first generation power saddle. The ridges were quite aggressive around the cutout, so you needed to have good chamois to be able to handle sitting far forward on the tip of the saddle. And what I mean by a good chamois is something like this, which is in the MAP Pro Team 2.0 bits. They've got a really thick padding sort of right under the perineum, which is really important with the power saddle because that's exactly where you're sitting when you're far forward. Fast forward to 2018 and there's a new power arc. Now I bought the Expert model, I chucked it on my Curved Belgy Spirit, which is my endurance slash gravel grinder slash the bike I kind of take out just to do horrible things. So what's new with the new Power R? From a numbers perspective, nothing's really changed. It still has the titanium rails, it still weighs 243 grams, and this particular one is still 143 mils wide. So while everything looks pretty much the same, I can tell you that it's actually a lot better than the first generation. The cutout channel is now much less severe. It's shorter, it's narrower, and it starts further back than the first generation. The edges are much less pronounced as well. So if you look at this front-on view comparing the two, you can see that the power arc is just a whole lot smoother. Out on the road, the power arc is a brilliant saddle. It's really comfortable when you're sitting on your sit bones towards the back of the saddle, and it's awesome to slide forwards and get into that more aggressive position. I've used it with aero bars as well, and it is still absolutely fantastic, even better than the first generation. For those of you who aren't gonna use aero bars or do anything like that, this is still a fantastic saddle. I know a lot of people who have had saddle problems over time, they switch to a power saddle, and it's been really good for them. It just seems to be the kind of saddle that suits a lot of people. I do know some people who don't like the power saddle, they tried it and then switched back to whatever they had before, but generally speaking, most people I know are pretty positive about it. And this is a very versatile saddle, so you can just do all kinds of stuff. As I said, I do gravel grinding, take it off on, you know, kind of gross, bumpy roads, and I still do a lot of long rides on it. And it's fantastic. It's just a really great all-round saddle. So, for anyone who is looking at the specialized range of saddles and is a bit confused by the difference between the Power and the Power Arc, the Power Arc is better. So get the Power Arc over the first generation if that's a decision you need to make. For those of you who own the first generation saddle and are wondering if this one is better, yes it absolutely is. That doesn't mean necessarily that you should upgrade if you have the first generation Power Saddle and you get along with it just fine, it's generally pretty comfortable, Stick with it, there's no reason to upgrade. But if you spend a lot of time far forward on the saddle and you do find that gets a little bit uncomfortable, I think the Power Arc could solve a lot of problems for you. Now the Power Saddle, it's only 179 Australian dollars as well, which is really good value. I am a big fan of spending money on good contact points because there's nothing worse than being in pain on the bike. And I think that the Power Saddles are just really, really excellent. They're still not my all-time favorite saddle, I have to admit. My all-time is... Ugh, the Tune Convoa Plus, which is a 79 gram plank of carbon. But for very obvious reasons, that's not a very practical saddle. So, as much as I absolutely love this, you can't really do anything and everything on it. Which is why all of my bikes either have a Convoa Plus or a Power Saddle on them now. I just really like them that much. So there you have it folks, the Power Arc is the best version of Specialized's fantastic Power Saddle range. 
Although I haven't tried that other one that has the, like, elastomer in it, which looks pretty cool as well. Maybe I'll have to look into that. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're a Power Saddle user, drop a comment so people can see what your experience has been, and we can all help each other's asses be a little bit more comfortable on the bike. Thanks for joining me, and I will see you next time. Thank you.